If you press CC at the bottom, you can see the subtitles along with the video. Hello, I'm June Bach. The product I'm going to show you today is the CarPlay Channel 3 Dash Cam Mirror. It's a new product that was recently released and upgraded from Android to CarPlay. There are eight components. The front is made with a 12 inch touchscreen. It's blue coated. The protective film is neatly attached, so you can remove it after use. There are two speakers on the back. Various connection terminals are located on the top, and the two terminals on the right are not used. There is a microphone and a power button at the bottom. The name of the fuse to be connected to the constant power cable is written on it. The terminal of the power cable is made of type C. The front camera is also detached to allow the user to attach it to the desired location. The camera is installed on the right side and is usually attached to the bottom of the side mirror. All cameras can be manually adjusted up and down angles. The rear camera and cable are 6 meters long. Front and side cameras have a connector on the power cable. A tape is included to hold the camera. This is a method of fixing the existing rear mirror with a rubber band. A micro SD card is used for video recording and is inserted to the front. I can't put it in by hand, so I use a tool to push it in until it clicks. The cable has a fixed location, so it's easy to connect. It was made with a Type-C cable, so I could boot it up at home. Mounted on top of the existing rear mirror using a rubber band. The front camera is also detached, so you can attach it to any location you want. If you are worried about or difficult to install, we recommend that you install it through a professional company. Each vehicle has a different fuse location, so be sure to check it before installing. Yellow cable equals B plus slash red cable equals ACC. Black cable equals GND, ground. Connect the red cable from the rear camera to the reverse lamp plus. After all cables are connected, neatly arrange inside the interior of the vehicle. Start the engine on. It took about 13 seconds to boot. When reverse gear is inserted, the rear image is automatically output. I thought it could be used like this, so I installed a side camera inside the car. It has three cameras, so I think it would be okay to use it like this when you need to take pictures of the interior like taxi drivers. This is an actual recorded dash camera video. Originally, it is a camera that is installed on the right side mirror or on the fender. I also did not know how to remove the side mirror, so I fixed it with tape for filming. When all cameras are connected, you are free to choose any camera and output it to the mirror. If you do not need a side camera, a blue screen appears, but you can use it by connecting only the front and rear cameras. You can manually adjust the top and bottom angles of all cameras. If you press the mobile internet, you can connect to your phone through Bluetooth. You can use Apple's CarPlay wirelessly. In addition, Android Auto can be connected wirelessly. If the car operates on the same radio frequency as 
This is a function that outputs dash cam sound from the speaker in the vehicle. You can check the recorded dash cam video in real time by pressing play. You can tell which camera it is by looking at the end of the file name. The settings allow you to change various options. You can click Wi-Fi information at the bottom to link with a dedicated app. You can check the real-time screen or recorded dash cam video on your mobile phone. The brightness of the display can be adjusted manually. Automatically enters parking mode when the vehicle is turned off. You can easily use the CarPlay function like this. I drove while using CarPlay. Navigation voice control. Test call. The sound was small, but I was able to make calls. Hello, I'm June Bach. We're testing the quality of the call right now. Next, I turned on the camera mode and drove. Daytime driver's point of view.
Night Driver's Point of View Image Quality of Underground Parking Lot This is a video shot with a dash cam, one of the basic functions. There are three cameras, so it's saved as three. Parking mode. If you link it only once at first, CarPlay will automatically connect to your phone and dash cam from the next time. From now on, it is automatically connected and can be used conveniently. I hope you always drive safely. That's it for today. I hope it helped you a little bit. I'll come back with more fun products next time. Thank you for watching, smiley face.